This is the remains of my subscriber Gary's eBay business. Let me tell you how it ended up in my driveway. You see, earlier this week, I put out a YouTube video talking about the difficulty I was having sourcing items for my eBay business. And I was super lucky to receive a bunch of messages from you guys offering up your unwanted stock. And one of those messages that I received was from Gary. Gary was kind enough to drive over to my place and drop off all of his stock before cutting up a really generous deal. And I'll let you guys know how much I paid for this entire haul at the end of the video. I also received a mystery box this week from a subscriber by the name of Zach and he gave it to me for free. He insisted that I didn't pay for it. And I'm gonna open it up at the end of this video as well. I have no idea what's inside, but I'm pretty interested to see what it is. Make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you wanna learn a thing or two about how to sell on eBay. Let's dive into the video and I'll show you what I'm picking up. Okay, so I've just brought it all inside and I can tell you right now that there are four distinct categories to this allocation. The first one, I'm gonna call it miscellaneous. There's just a bit of everything and we're gonna go through that category first. Then there's also a ton of DVDs and we'll call that category number two. Shoes and clothing, I'm seeing a bunch of that as well. Let's call that category three. And then for category four, category four, we're gonna call this cardboard box right here because I had a little bit of a peek as I was bringing it in. And let's just say I'm very, very excited. So category four, we're gonna call it the excitement box. I've got the GoPro. We're gonna kick it off with miscellaneous. Let's jump into it and we'll see what stuff we've got to sell. As you can see, it's a bit of everything. We've got some puzzles, some board games, a couple of bags over here. I'm just gonna jump into it and I'll go through some of this stuff with you guys. Now, first thing that I'm liking are these action figures, these wrestling action figures. They always seem to do well for me. This is the stretchy one. Uh, they don't go for massive amounts of money, these guys. Um, I think you can mold him. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, and then John Cena there as well. It's not a Marvel Elite, but it still should go okay. Jack Specific 2003. Sold a lot of these for about $20, believe it or not. Um, so that was really good. Always look out for your action figures. So that was cool. Um, anything Bunnings Warehouse goes well, so no doubt the comps on this guy, he might be worth about $15, $20. For those outside of Australia, this is a local timber and hardware store uh, for us here in Australia. Um, so that's that's cool to see. Um, oh, 1982 Muppets Coffee Mug. Mug Life, made in New Zealand on this one. Um, so it's got a cool little print on it, which is sweet. Uh, I'll quickly go through some of this stuff. I don't want to harp on it for too long. We've got a plush toy here, Daffy Duck. It goes with my money bags, Daffy Duck, that I've got up in my room. Um, this one here is another mug, Triple M. Nothing much on that. Another one here. So we've got two that we could do as a bit of a bundle with the plush toys. Sesame Street glasses case. Nothing in that. We've got a, well, that's really cool. We've got a Bart Simpson money jar. That's epic. Is there a date on that? Mm, 2007 Fox. So that should sell. You'd probably get about $15 to $20 for something like that. Um, that's really cool. Big Bart Simpson. Um, oh, these go for some good money. These little Simpsons action figures. You get about $10 for $15 a piece, believe it or not, for some of these. There's about 40 or 50 of them out there uh, that you've got to collect for a full set. So that along with this Jet Set Tours Australia vintage bag was a pretty cool little mix. All right, I've got a big camera case over here. We have got a Nikon, Nikon vintage camera. I'm not too well versed with my cameras, so I don't exactly know what we're looking at here. If anyone knows in the comments if this is a good camera, uh, do let me know. But um, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. I just wish I knew how to use it. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Yeah, not sure how much this is, but it looks like it's got the manuals in there as well, which is always a nice little advantage. And it's got a, uh, I don't know if this is a Nikon camera case, but no, it's just a generic Explorer. Um, but look, these go okay. You can get some good money on this. All right, let's fly through these. We've got a children's library book of ALF uh, with the cassette tape back in the day. That should go okay, I would imagine. We've got a Simpsons handbook here. Secret tips from the pros. Oh, that looks really cool. Exactly how to draw the Simpsons characters. That's epic. So that's really good, that should go. Anything Simpsons is good. Two puzzles for Sesame Street. Family Christmas, 500 piece puzzle, puzzle, Star Wars puzzle. These are two books that I haven't heard of before. Elron Hubbard. We've got a volume three and a volume four. 
So two different books there in the bundle. That should sell. It's just always the postage that's a concern when it comes to the books. That's why I've stopped doing it. Uh, we've got a Simpsons Masterpiece Gallery big book of posters. Oh, wow. That's really cool. We've never seen that before. 2007 Fox Productions. Someone would love that. They're great. Like an A3 piece of paper as well for it. Uh, we've got some more records. The Essential Beatles, um, Lonely Hearts. I'm not sure how much the records are. I don't really do records too much, but I mean Beatles. Surely you can't go wrong there. Uh, we've got some more vintage Walt Disney puzzle pieces. That's a 70 set. Wheel of Fortune, classic board game. So that should go well. Grundy, third edition. And we've got Clue for Seinfeld Collector's Edition as well. So I'll just have to make sure all the pieces of the puzzle is there, which is a little bit time consuming. But um, nonetheless, cool to see all of that. No real crazy, I wouldn't say any crazy winners in that allocation. There wouldn't be any huge average sale prices. Now this is a really good DVD set, I know. Um, so we've got a vintage, is it vintage? 2002, 2006, maybe not quite, but a Mega Man NT Warrior bag. And there's a little mini bag as well in here too. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much empty. But that could go as a little set. I'm not sure exactly how much that would cost um, or how much you could sell it for, but still really cool. Some little kid would love it. Um, we've got a big NBL bag here as well, just a big sports bag. Bit of a vintage look about it as well. Kind of like the NBL logo on there. Um, no tears as well, which is always good. So that's all of that. And then we've got this big tub here to round out miscellaneous. These Simpsons are uh, little straw cups. You've got a little straw holder there. So you've got these little straws and then you've got Homer and you've got Bart Simpson. So that's, that's a good little set, a little two of them. Some more Simpsons stuff. Toothbrush, wow way. Don't know if I'd be game enough to use that, but that's pretty cool. And then I don't really know what that is. That, is that for an egg? Do you sit an egg on that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, what else? We've got a lot of books in here. Malcolm X, no idea. An Agatha Christie curtain book. Uh, Killing Floor, Lee Child. That's a really good book author if you guys are doing books. I mean, if you're doing books, you probably already know about Lee Child, but um, that's something to be aware of. Not sure about this one. Dan Brown, I think he's a pretty slow sell-through rate, but you could do that as a bit of a set. Da Vinci Code. Uh, we've got the Watchmen. We've got a magnet set here for the Watchmen. That's kind of cool. Brand new and sealed as well, which is always good. They should sell. Uh, Warner Brothers. Got an old Warner Brothers movie. Well, we see a lot of this on the Gold Coast, all the theme park related stuff. So that's cool. More books, it seems. What have we got here? Raymond Feast. Yeah, I, I, look, I don't know any of these books. If you if you think there's anything crazy in this book allocation, let me know in the comments. But maybe that one could be in good, could be good. Hugo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, 101 Dalmatians. Got some Walt Disney stuff here. And then we've got a Seinfeld puzzle as well. Another puzzle. A lot of puzzles in this misc allocation. Um, oh, these are cool. Got some vintage Goosebump books. I used to watch all of these as a kid growing up. The Barking Ghost, Horror, yeah, I used to love these. Ghost Beach, Ghost Camp. That'll sell as a good bundle. So that's that for miscellaneous. Now with the DVDs, what I've done so far is one thing, which is allocate all of the movies into this pile, all of the Blu-rays into this pile, and then I've got all of the, what I can see of TV show sets building up just here. And then I've got a bunch of, that's all TV show seasons down here. So Dark Angel, Supernatural, Criminal Minds, they were really, really good winners. But I don't really know exactly what I've got in this allocation right here. So really quickly, I'm just going to do some comp research and just try and find anything that's worth $15 or more and see how big of a pile we can generate out of these two. I'll see you in a sec. All right, 
right, it definitely does pay to do your research when you get this big allocation. It's a simple process that I go through, but it is quite time consuming. And what I'm doing is I'm just, now that I've broken them up into TV shows and movies and Blu-rays as well, I'm just scanning every single one to try and find a $15 minimum price point. If it doesn't quite hit the mark of $15, I'm putting it to the side and I'm probably going to go ahead and donate it back to the local thrift store. I've gone through and I've got a stack of ones that came through over that $15. But I should say, first of all, there is quite a large tub of those that didn't quite hit the mark at $15. So I've just put them aside. It's quite a big one. Um, so it's just going to go away and get out of the house and get out of the clutter that is this garage. But these are all the real winners that we've got here. And it's a real mix of movies, Blu-rays and TV show season box sets. And I want to take you through a couple of winners here. The first one that I've got here is Star Blazers, the complete series set there. Didn't know too much about this one. Three seasons worth of a set. They go for about $70 each on eBay. So I should be able to get about $200 for a complete set of this, which is really, really awesome because I didn't know anything about it when I saw it. Um, this one as well. This is the Young Indiana Jones series. It's just volume one as well. So I kind of wrote this one off when I looked at it. Uh, but I did some research into it and it goes for $50 and there's a number of comps on that as well. So a really cool one to find and nice when it was a little surprising find as well. Uh, we had some standard winners, which I knew just straight off the get, Doctor Who. Uh, we've got series one to nine plus the specials, plus a couple of additional ones. They should go for about $200 worth of a listing. And then we've got Criminal Minds and we've also got Supernatural. I'm missing just a season each out of a complete set for both of those, but I should be able to get about $100 for them. I found in the Blu-rays, the Blu-rays are really successful when you're playing on the DC superhero series. Um, so Batman vs. Robin, um, we had Justice League Gods and Monsters, Justice League War. There was a steel case of Captain Marvel that was going for about $40. So the Blu-rays didn't really have a massive strike rate of success when I was scanning them all up. But those Justice League series uh, Blu-rays actually came up to be really good. So that could be a good category to look for if you're hunting down Blu-rays. But... There's quite a large volume of allocation here across the movies, the Blu-rays, and the TV shows. Uh, and I would guesstimate there'd be about $1,500 worth of revenue uh, to put into eBay out of this allocation. So the DVDs, I was absolutely stoked with what we're able to find. All right, so the next category that we've got here is the shoes and a bit of clothing as well, which we're gonna jump into. Now, I don't really do clothing so much anymore. I wanna focus on these shoes first up and then we'll get into some of this and hopefully there's a good couple of things that I can list up. The first thing that I'm seeing, which I love the look of, are these. We've got the Macbeths. Now, this is Tom DeLong Blink-182. These are really quite actually tough to find these days and they're in really good condition too. I believe they're actually a women's size. They're a women's size 10. Um, so women's size 10 on these. I actually think these shoes, believe it or not, I should be able to get about $100 for these things. So a really good brand for you guys to be finding. You usually see them quite beat up because they're a band shoe, they're a musician shoe, or at least the brand is anyway with Blink-182, Tom DeLong. So you often find these really beat up, but they still go on to sell great. So given the condition of these, that should be an easy $100. So that was awesome to see. Uh, and then these are pretty much some just stock standard sort of $35, $40 odd shoes, I would, I would probably say, just some Adidas there, uh, just some plain casual shoes. We've got some Stan Smith Adidas shoes here. Not sure if I'll go ahead and list these up. The quality of them aren't fantastic, but still, I mean, I probably could go maybe, no, I don't know, $25, $30 for something like that. And then these were quite interesting. I don't know if I love them, but they're Country Road, and uh, they're just some sandals. And they're pretty funky sandals at that as well. So, yeah, not sure if I'll go ahead with them or not on a listing front, or at least I will, I will list them. I just don't know how much I'll list them up for. Um, but, yeah, they were pretty cool. So... Best of the bunch, no doubt about it, the Macbeths. Make sure you try and find those. Now, as for the clothing, Gary really liked this. We've got a vintage Wet n Wild Australia. This is a rain jacket. This would have been an employee jacket at the theme park um, from back in the day. It's a size extra large as well, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, this is quite a vintage, quite a cool vintage theme park item. Um, so I'll go ahead and probably list this one up. Not sure exactly what it's worth. I'll have to check the comps, uh, but that was awesome to see. This is just a standard sweater. It almost looks like a cricketer's sweater um, for, the, for the game of cricket, but I don't know about that. I don't know if I'll go ahead and list that one up. Not really in my wheelhouse. Uh, we've got an Obey hat here with a bit of a funky print on it, uh, propaganda. Yeah, I don't know. That one's not really my cup of tea, but... Um, 
still nonetheless cool to see it uh what do we got here greg norman golf uh polo shirt we've got oh that is that is epic who wouldn't want that that is so cool george costanza t anything on the back nothing on the back let me know in the comments if you want that what size is it it's a size large I'll give it to you cheap. That's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I might even keep it. Uh, we've got a Manchester United size medium. That looks that looks genuine to me as well. Uh, yeah. Yep. That looks all right. I'd, I'd go ahead and list that one up. That one's cool. Size medium. Nike fit. Um, what do we got here? Oh, don't know about that one. Thailand tea. Oh, this is cool. We've got an anti-social social club jacket here. That's awesome. Paranoid. Oh, that, that should do well. I like that. Anti-social social club. I haven't seen too much of this stuff before. Let me know if this is genuine or not. It's a size extra large as well. Doesn't really look... Looks more like a women's size extra large. But I love that on the back. Anti-social social club. It's got a couple of marks. A couple of... The, just the logo there on the sleeve. Very, very cool top. Oh, now this is good. This is awesome. Oh, and it's got a name on the back as well. And it's got a tag. And it's long sleeve. Oh, my goodness. Um, so this is a size extra large feeler. Genuine uh, sponsorship from back in the day for the Queensland Bulls Cricket Club. We've got Brant 99 on the back here. There's some big collectors for the, uh, for the cricket, the state cricket. And I just want to know if it was actually player issued or not. It might not be player issued just because it's got a tag and the players wouldn't be given... I wouldn't imagine they'd be given tagged items. But that is... That is definitely like a 50... Maybe a 50 to $60 item, I'd say. Could even be more, actually. I shouldn't be selling myself short on that. That's a cool find. It uh, looks like we've got some more Thailand tees here, which you don't want to be picking up. Might have been one of Gary's earlier purchases. We've got a, uh, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, T-shirt, that wouldn't be worth a lot of money. This is cool, Beavis and Butthead. MTV on a Gildan tag, size small for maybe one of the girls out there. If you're watching, if you want the Beavis and Butthead, let me know. Uh, the Dandy Warhols. Don't know about that one. Uh, this is a really cool tee. We've got a brand new Dickies size large short sleeve button up, which is quite cool. And we've got a big GR, big uh, long sleeve sweater jumper here. Highland Outfitters size extra large. That's a nice print on it. That's a nice print on it. Maybe I could wear that. Let me know if you think I'd look good in that long sleever. Won't be on now though, because it's absolutely stinking hot in this room. Uh, and then we've got another Greg Norman. No, Adidas. So there you go. We've got just a bunch of really good clothing. Um, there were a couple of winners in there. The Anti-Social Social Club, I think is really good. The Queensland Bulls long sleeve cricket jumper for sure. Uh, the rest, nah, it's, it's the reason I don't do clothing. They don't sell super quick and they don't sell for a massive average sale price. I might list a few of them up considering obviously I've been able to get them in this allocation. Um, but yeah, cool to see some clothing, but the shoes, the Macbeths, make sure you're finding those because they're going to be a really quick winner. Well, guys, we are now up to number four, which is the excitement box. And I cannot wait to show you what's in here. All right, are you ready? We have got a bunch of vintage video games, which is one of my favorite categories that I just don't get to see a lot of. So to see all of this in here, it's very, very exciting. Now, I'll pull them out one by one. First of all, we've got a couple of games here. We've got Forza Motorsport. This is the limited collector's edition set. There's actually a steel case game in there, plus a booklet. That goes for some pretty decent money, twenty to thirty dollars, I think, from memory when I was doing some comp searching uh, just a second ago. Uh, Red Dead Redemption as well. I love the look of this because it was a good twenty to thirty dollar game, but unfortunately there was no disc in there. So I'll sell that one for ten dollars as a case plus manual only. Never quit on those games when you see them without a disc because you can still get them done on a case only. Uh, we've got some loose games down here as well, guys. I've got Sega. Um, this is Sega Two. Uh, on the Sega Mega Drive, so that's awesome to see. That goes pretty well, about $30. And we've got here T2, Terminator 2, arcade game. That one goes for about $30 as well, and that is complete. We've got the manual in there, and we've got the game. 
uh, and it's in really good condition too. So that should be a really quick seller for $30. I do have a Sega Mega Drive 2 console down here, which I'll pull out in just a second. But I think I'm gonna do these games individually. I think I'm just gonna list them up to sell individually. Um, I've got a couple of Sega Mega Drive games down here as well, guys. Um, so this one here, we've got Aladdin. And it goes for about $25 to $30 individually on that one. Uh, we've got Sega Mega Drive Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So I've actually got two copies. I've got a case and a manual, and then I've also got the loose game as well. So that'll be two individual listings for that. Uh, we've got Sonic and Knuckles. This one goes for about $75, guys, and it's in fantastic condition as well. So that was that was brilliant to see, actually. And then we've got a, um, as you'll see here, we've got a SNES Super Nintendo system down there as well. Uh, and then we've got a game for it too, which is a good one. Super Mario All-Stars should go for about $40, that one there. Again, it's in really good condition. So some loose games, and then we've got the consoles, but check this thing out. I haven't actually ever seen one of these before. We've got the Super Advantage controller for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So that is, that is really cool to see. And we've also got the, uh, the console for it as well. So that will connect to this thing, which is we've got the console and we've got all of the cables. So you've got the AC adapter there. Uh, you've got the little RV or RV switch, I think it's called. Uh, there it is there on top. And you've got a controller. So the console, so that and that, I'll probably sell this individually. I think you can get about 120 to 150 for that. And I think this you can get about $160 for. So I'll do that and that separately. And then I'll do the games, like I said, individually as well. And then we've got a complete one controller allocation plus all the cables for the Sega Mega Drive 2 system. And I should be able to get about $160 for that as well. So 160, 160, 320, say 120, that's 440. And then all of the games as well. I think there's about six to $700 sitting in this box of vintage video games. What an awesome category. So a huge thank you to Gary. Those four categories are all gonna go on to sell really well for me. And doing 20 listings every single day, I've now got a few weeks worth of allocation with this entire haul. So really exciting to see. I would estimate it to be anywhere between three to $4,000 worth of revenue. And I paid Gary without knowing exactly what I had my hands on a $500 purchase. So it was 500 bucks to get all of this stock. Huge thank you to Gary because there's certainly gonna be a significant amount of profit in that uh, and incredibly kind and generous of him as well to come and drop it off here at the house. So I didn't even have to go and commute for it. So Gary, a very, very big thank you from me to you. Just a bit of an update there on the price point of $500. It was initially, and while Gary was completely fine with the $500 deal, I wasn't. I thought that he should have been paid a little bit more. It's really hard when you don't know what you're getting your hands on, but based on this video and having gone through every single item, because initially it was a bit of a blind purchase, uh, I felt like I needed to give Gary a few more dollars. So I actually transferred him another 200, which made the purchase price $700. I think that's a little bit more fair for what is an amazing haul. And it was just dropped off of my driveway. Um, I've got this big box here as well. So Zach, uh, a viewer of the channel, has um, watched the video last and said that uh, he's got a bunch of goodies that he wants to give me. He's given it to me for free of charge. I said, look, I'm happy to pay for it. He said, no, I've watched you for so long. I appreciate the content. Take this as a gesture of thanks. So I don't know what's in it, but I know that Zach knows what I like to buy. So I'm assuming that we're gonna see a few of those items in this little box here. But I'm gonna jump into it and Fingers crossed there's some cool stuff. Whoa, okay. I'm already seeing video games. Anything video game related gets me very excited because I just don't, oh, I don't, <laughs> this, this, is, this is already pretty damn good from what I can see. And there's a lot of bubble wrap, so I'm not actually in the weeds of it yet. The first thing I say, what shoe is this? Oh yeah, so awesome. They're in really good condition too. It says Zoom Rev. Nike Zoom Revs. Aren't they clean though? Have a look at them. Really clean. They're a size 12. They're my size. Maybe I'll hold on to these and I'll play my social basketball in these. How good are they? Not sure how much the Nike Revs are worth, but no insoles in them. But they're, I mean, the, the condition of the sole is so good. There's so much wear left in those. They are brilliant, already an awesome start. What do we got here? Looks like a bunch of Xbox One games. 
There we go. Off, straight off the top of my head, I'm not too sure how much these are worth, so I'll just show you them there on screen. There they are there. A couple of Wolfensteins. Jeez, it's hot in here. So we've got Doom. We've got Halo 5. We've got two uh, Wolfensteins. We've got the Old Blood and New Order. Ghost Recon Point Break. Wolfenstein 2, so I might do Wolfenstein as a bit of a bundle. And then we've got Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite 3, Sniper Elite 4. So there they are there. And I've got a few more Xbox One games down here too. So video games and shoes, that is just incredible to see because I'm sure there's going to be some really good value in all of those. Uh, looks like we might have some DVDs. Oh, looks like we've got an Xbox One controller here as well. That's really, that's awesome. These are probably worth a bit. There it is there. Very, very clean, like new condition. Unreal. Yep, Xbox One wireless controller. I haven't actually ever sold an Xbox One wireless controller, so I'm not sure how much they're worth. Let me just straighten this up. There we go. My dodgy old tripod's not really working. Um, cool. And then we've got two more little bundles here. So we've got some more games. This is so nice, Zach. Th thank you so much, mate. The fact that I've got this for free is just, honestly, it's too much. It's too kind. All right, so we've got some games. I'll pull out the PS4 game because that is an absolute ripper. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on PS4. I think that goes for about 30 bucks from memory. So that's an awesome game. And then we've got Paddle Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1. We've got Ghost Recon, Tom Clancy on Xbox One there. Um, so they that, that could be a couple of little cheap winners, but they'll still go well to fill up the store. We've got the Zombie Army Trilogy on Xbox One. And then we've got Rainbow Six Siege on Xbox One there as well. So a bunch of Xbox One games, PS4 game, the Nike shoes, and then this one here, which is some DVDs. It's a little bundle of Two and a Half Men, season one, two, and three. Couldn't have asked for any more than that. Shoes, DVDs, and video games, plus a wireless controller. That is incredible. Zach, thank you so, so much. Like I said, way too client, kind, would have 100% paid for it, but he, Zach insisted that I, I didn't. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and list all these up for some really, really good value. Thanks, mate. It's been a very big day, guys, sifting through all of that, trying to work out exactly what I've got my hands on and the valuations of some of these. It's always that research that you do prior to work out what you've got that just makes the job a whole lot easier when it comes to actually listing these items. And that's exactly where I'm at right now. It's about doing the hard work to go ahead and list 20 of these up every single day for the remainder of the month. And hopefully we can pull in some really quick turnarounds, which I'm sure we will based on what I've seen here with the solds already on eBay. So a huge thank you to Zach for that little mystery box at the end there. And a big, big thank you to Gary for the $500 purchase of what was another mystery box in a way. Um, pulled out some absolute gems and to find three to $4,000 worth of revenue in there is just insane. So Gary, thank you so, so much. Um, I'll leave you with the video right here, guys. It's a beginner's guide. If you're just starting out on eBay and you want to know how to go about it, that video right there will show you exactly how to do it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go and do that. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you soon.